I'm going to make it. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you got the right stuff. So, yes, it's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you work your system, that you are relentless, that you never give up. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. As you work to help other people to become successful, that feeds your success. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. I told Mr. Washington I wanted to become a disc jockey. Someone asked me to tell this story. And he said, Les Brown, he said, if you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. And so I started working to develop myself. He said, I want you to practice every day being a disc jockey. I said, but I don't have any job now. He said, it doesn't matter. He said that it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So every day I was working to develop myself. And that's what you must do. And as I was working to develop myself, I applied for a job as a disc jockey, WMB in Miami Beach. I went to a guy named Milton Butterball. I said, how you doing, Mr. Butterball? I'd like to get a job as a disc jockey. He looked at me, he said, do you have any broadcast background? I said, no, sir, I don't. Do you have any journalism background? I said, no, sir, I don't. He said, we don't have any jobs available. I said, yes, sir. I went back to Mr. Washington and I told him, he said, don't take it personally. He said, most people are so negative, they will have to say no seven times before they say yes. He said, go back again. So I went back again. I said, how you doing, Mr. Butterball? My name is Les Brown. He said, I know what your name is. What do you want? I said, I'd like to know whether or not you have any jobs at this jockey, sir. He said, didn't I just tell you yesterday we didn't have any jobs? I said, yes, sir, but I know whether or not somebody got laid off or somebody was fired, sir. He said, no one was laid off or fired. Now get on out of here. I came back the next day. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you? He said, fine. What do you want now? I said, I'd like to know whether or not you got any jobs, sir. Didn't I tell you the last two days we didn't have any jobs? I said, yes, sir, but I don't know whether or not somebody got sick or somebody died, sir. He said, no one got sick or died. Now don't come back here and throw me out again.